Time for our tropical forecast for today. Things have been changing as they always do during hurricane season. We still have two storms that we're tracking. Henri out here in the Atlantic and of course Grace that is now in the Caribbean and on its way into the Gulf of Mexico. So let's go take a look at Grace. So it is now a category one hurricane. Winds are at 80 miles per hour. That pressure just continues to drop. So as it moves away from land and has now just open water around it, the pressure is dropping and that means also that the winds are increasing. So it is now hurricane and we do expect it to make landfall within the next day or so right there at the Yucatan. So Thursday morning at 1 a.m. and by Thursday 1 p.m. it's halfway or more than halfway across the, the Cozumel going from the Yucatan into the Bay, Bay of Campeche. And as we look at the forecast after that, uh, so we do expect it to weaken as it makes landfall for a while, but then we'll be back to category one status by about Friday afternoon, makes landfall late Friday night, early Saturday morning, and all of this stays well to the south of us here in Texas. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. And if you look at the computer modeling, it uh, actually it's pr pretty impressive how close the modeling has been. I mean, even when before, when it was back there by uh, Haiti and the and Dominican Republic, the models were still very close together. And even out here, as we get into Saturday, Friday, you know, and again, it's only Wednesday now, we're talking Saturday, that's a pretty good grouping with those computer models. And it's been this way. This is one of those storms that we had a pretty good idea what was going to happen the whole time because the weather conditions around it have been very strong. So it's got, this is very strong high pressure. In fact, not only is this kind of influencing what's happening down here in the Caribbean, this is also what's having an influence on why we're not gonna see any problems for the East Coast with Henri, but you see that it's pretty close though here, and we'll show you that in a second. But this is in the upper levels of the atmosphere, so this is very high in, in the air, and it's what drives everything. So, of course, down here at the ground, like for example, Houston, you know, we got lots of rain, because down at the ground, it's still humid, and that hot air rises, and so you see the showers that pop up, but they don't, they don't last all that long once we lose the daytime heating. And so they're kind of diurnal in, in nature. So with the rising of the sun and the setting of the sun is what's driving that. But this high pressure is very high and it's the big driver as far as things like hurricanes. So this has been in place and it really never had a chance to come towards us. It's just gonna get shoved down into Mexico which I guess good news for us, not so good for our friends in Mexico. Now here's a look at Henri, which has now got winds at 70 miles per hour. So it is almost a hurricane. Bermuda is right here. So it's to the south of Bermuda and it's kind of on the northeast edge of that big area of high pressure. And so it would love to wrap around and come right into the US, but it's gonna actually go and make a right turn and get close to the US. Cause see, as it heads up here to the north, it moves away from the area of high pressure and so it starts to push back, but there's a frontal boundary that'll come in and, and eventually push this out to sea. But uh, over the next uh, couple of days, it's not really gonna go anywhere in a hurry. So we're talking about possibly category one hurricane once we get uh, into the weekend and beyond. So this is kind of an interesting storm in that it takes that right hand turn, gets close to the US, but isn't gonna do much. So as we go back here to Africa, I was showing you this yesterday and we were watching this as it was actually a little bit further out there to the east. And now as you see these waves, they come off. Now it's very interesting. Most of the time when you have this wave of hot air, unstable air, comes out over the waters and it just kind of falls apart. But some of these last a little bit longer. See right in here, see right in there. And so what we're, we watch these to see if they start drawing in other moisture. So it takes a while for it to start drawing upon the moisture of the warm water. But once it does, that's when that wave continues to go on off to the uh, west it would go. So at this point, I don't see anything out there that's really got our name on it or any, anything of major concern, but we've got a lot of waves that are coming off of Africa right now. So we would expect to see things stay active. And for us locally here in Texas, a couple of things, one of the things we watch very carefully this time of year is the fact that we'll see the storms that start here go all the way across the Atlantic. And if they take a southerly trip to the Caribbean, that has a, a better chance of coming towards us. Most of the time, once they start turning to the right, especially they start turning to the right quickly here, which is to the north, not gonna be a concern for us. But if they get close to the Bahamas, from the Bahamas down to the Caribbean, that's what we're, we're watching for. And so I, I watch these because the ones that come way out here to the south, 
have a better chance of coming this direction than the ones up there to the north. And so there's just a lot of different things that we look at. Now keep in mind, we're not even to the height of hurricane season until after the first week of September. Okay, so we do have a ways to go before we get there. We're getting there though, and that's why we've had, like this week we've had three storms. I expect to see more storms on a regular basis, not necessarily in the Gulf of Mexico, but in our entire basin, we should expect to see that. So this just because we've been pretty doing very well with these storms not coming towards us, doesn't mean we're done as of yet. So we do not want to let our guard down yet. Of course, it's a good time now to always get your supplies when there isn't a storm coming in our direction. I've been saying that a lot and I'm going to keep saying that as well. So that's the update for today. I do think that uh, we'll see Grace going through. Henri, we're still going to talk about those storms for at least a few more days and then we'll see what happens in the long range forecast for those next things. We'll talk a little bit about that coming up over the next week or so.